So you can probably tell by looking at this thing, I mud run it. And this is actually rather clean. I've had it so dirty before caked on mud that it's not even recognizable, but. There's a couple problems I've found in doing so. Traxxas advertises these as, you know, waterproof and such. And you can run them through the mud in the water. But if you do it as much as I do, you're probably going to go through a couple of the motors. Now this is just a brush motor, so I don't know if the brushless are sealed better. But you can see around that shaft, for example, there is clearance for mud and water to get in there. And that little shaft spins. And then similar inside of there also. And then you got all your brushes and whatnot. But... This is my second motor, and I'm about to replace it, so I'll be on my third. And they always go when I mud run, because they start squawking and squealing and locking up, because they get mud and crap in it. Rinsing them out and uh, spraying it with some WD-40 and helps a little bit, but it usually comes back once it starts. I can't completely get rid of it. So that's one thing you're probably going to run into, running it through a lot of water or... Uh, a lot of mud is you will go through these Titan motors. Like I said, I can't speak for the Ventilines or the uh, brushless, but this will be the second one now I have to replace. But it's not a big deal. Uh, tip if you're going to have to replace them. Um, I get mine on eBay. They pull them out of brand new vehicles and they're not even ran because they're doing engine swaps and such on brand new vehicles. So I get them on eBay for like 18, 19 bucks with free shipping. So that's not a big deal to me to mud run and do everything I want, run it through creeks and all that. If I occasionally have to replace, you know, an $18 motor, it's not that big a deal. The other big problem you run into <sighs> Ooh, look at that. That's straight up water I'm squeezing out of there. I have not ran this thing. Look at that. For six months, and that water is still in there. Get water and mud through those little holes. Now they have holes because it, it's really not a big deal if you have a brushed motor, but they have the holes in there because when you go real fast, uh, the tires expand and contract, expand and contract, and basically uh the heat and pressure will build up inside and the, the swell those the those holes are designed to let that air pressure in and out but if you're running a, a brushed motor it doesn't have enough power to really worry about that i just bought a second set and uh what you want to do is put some jb weld or super glue or something over those holes so that uh no water and mud and shit can get in there because that makes this tire <laughs> it makes it really heavy yeah, which really slows it down which is really noticeable with a brushed motor and on top of that they're all lopsided and stuff you run it down the road this thing shakes and wobbles like crazy now because of all the mud and water in there unbalancing the tires so Lesson to learn on that. I'm about to put a new set on here. It's going to be like a third of the weight. That should help this thing run a lot better. And I'm going to JB weld those holes so that nothing can get in there. But um, like you said, that's fine on a brush if you run brushless. Um, I think you need those holes. But one way to find out. Uh, also, it's going to be a lot harder on your steering servo with the front tires weighing two or three times as much as they should because they're full of water and mud so you're going to burn out servos also